Oh, well, you're back at it again with JD teaser. Uh, this one in particular, it's just, it's gonna be a smaller video than usual. Mainly because one the teaser, it was uh, not like too extensive for JD. This time, I don't even know this little teaser over here for Japan or the Greater East Asian Federation came out like like the day I was there. Decided, so, you know what? I'm taking a break for Thanksgiving, so. Uh, sorry. Apologize for being uh, late, late on this one, but I figured up. I'd well include this one over here. I'll try to remember them. I'll remember the ideologies. Cause I cannot remember. <laughs> I, I cannot remember names all that well. Oh. I can, but I start to forget. <laughs> okay, I think of somebody else sometimes, so I do apologize for that one. But yeah. For the Pan. Well, I say the Pan Asian Federation, the Great East Asian Federation. Telling you this, the Pan Asian Federation. For basically Japan, over here we got a, got some uh, that you know things over and over here, and basically like a little preview of how central the territories are. I you see over here they got a bunch of islands down in the Pacific, and some stuff in Indonesia. They got that Guineas, both the Guineas. There's one of the Guineas. I don't remember. Yeah, very extensive, very powerful. I can see over here. Might as well get some previous starting over here. Uh, the National Collectivism vibe. Because I think on uh, base Red Flood they are. National Vanguards, if I remember correctly. I think they're National Vanguard. Yeah, yeah I think they are. I'm trying to remember if they are National Vanguard, if they're something else. I think they are actually bigger. I think I'm 90% sure they are. Yeah. You see if this is the extension of that over here. We got the little camera over there. We don't got any of their focus trees over here. And I cannot read the Japanese, so I do apologize about this. I think on the Discord, they tr translated the words. Either on the Reddit. I'm trying to remember exactly, but mm, anybody, <laughs> anybody knows about this links. If I find something, I'll look into it as well. Anyway. So far, can we got Hita Ika? He's familiar. I think I've I've heard about him, but I cannot remember specifically what for. I think I think it was something about uh fuck. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what the fuck I was. Dude, there was something. There was something about Hita that I specifically remember about now, and now I cannot remember for the life of me. God damn it. Anyway, we got Hashimoto Kangoro. Uh, look at that PP. In that resort of vision again. Oh. Minus five organizations there. Suzuki Techi. That, so that's, uh, that's like about 20, 21. Yeah, about 20. Is that guy she made himself? This the stability war support. Nice. We got Chell is moving research and decryption. That's uh, so overall though. Story cabinets. Story cabinets rather nice though. Like you know, like overpowered or anything. But it's very, very nice though. Okay, okay. It's a little preview over here. It's a little taste of what Japan starting situation is like. Well, not their exact starting situation, but. Showing off, like you know, their stents over here, and who's who's leading, who's in charge over here. That she may. I'm very interested to see how she is gonna be over here. Cause I did a playthrough on him in regular Red Flood, so I am curious to see how they're gonna build off all of that. With the whole like you know, Pan Asian Federation and his anti-capitalist, but well, you know, sort of like. Using that pan Asian rhetoric to, like, you know, bolster, bolster Japanese power. It's very interesting how that's gonna work out exactly. Now, you see over here, the Black Belt Republic. Uh, just like in Kaiser, I do plan on doing several places on the Black Belt Republic. I already got like a few from what I've seen over here. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this in Kaiser, but I do plan on doing some stuff with the Black Belt Republic. 
I'm thinking fucking. I'm thinking of doing the Sun Ra first. Either that or Nation of Islam or. People's Pharaoh Dome Africa. <laughs> People's Pharaoh Dome fascinates me because of how fucking. So fucking weird. But so fucking interesting to me. I don't know why. Yeah. One of those two. Yeah, one of the three though. The People's Pharaoh Dome, Sun Ra, and Nation of Islam. Oh, yeah, and uh, Lost Tribe. I think it was the Lost. I think it's, I think it's the Lost Tribe. And. Uh, there's another path I forgot. I'm trying to remember exactly, but yeah. As, as for Casual Week October, for JD, we have a little bit of things for the Black Panther Republic. Uh, I'm going to read this before I list. When America fell and the state of Africa was destroyed, the Black Man for the first time tasted true freedom. We rose up, took the land for ourselves, and defended the claw of white dicks and established a republic of that era. While we face unrest and political chaos at the time, there is no doubt the optimism of our people can overcome our greatest challenges. So comes the 1954 elections, with many names on the ballots, while reactionaries and revolutionaries wait for a chance to turn democracy. Risk can be assured, when we face unrest and energy trial, we will have flame of freedom here. Base. <coughs> Base freedom. Despite the pressure, we can be a fucking... You can do some pretty interesting shit, so... Let's see if I can remember the ideologies. Oh, him. That's that's uh, Leninism, radicalism. If I remember correctly, that's about. I think that's syndicalism. That's I, I, I thought it was social republicanism at first, but then, the, but I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, but when I played through fucking OGF, I was like, wait a minute, fucking social republicanism like that. No shit. So I took a quick look at the uh, teaser tree, and now I've forgotten some of them. Yeah, that's syndicalism, that's social patriotism from Wobla Bois. Yes. It's Thomas Dude. Fuck. Sir. Terrible with names. But I, I recognize their faces, but I can't remember the fucking names. I do apologize for this. If any of you know, let me know in the comments below. I do apologize for that one. And I'll pin your comment as well so that everybody can see. That's Martin Luther King Jr., not Martin Luther King Sr. I think of senior because he appears as a leader in Kaiser Redux. I think for the Black Bell Republic. But I can't remember the show says that leading him to taking power. And he's, um. Social conservatism? Or like a rise of democracy? Uh, you, you're liberal conservatism, if I remember correctly. I recognize you, but again, I can't remember the names. She is. I think that's actually social conservative. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> I don't have the sub ideology list up, so I can't really refer to that one. Though. I'm trying to remember this based off of memory, so I do apologize for this. Uh, that's Marcus Garvey. Funny enough, Marcus Garvey is. It starts off in the Liberia, but. In this time, like George Padmore. <coughs> George Padmore took power. Well, in the JD timeline. Uh, yeah, JD timeline. <laughs> to this timeline. I, I don't know if that works or not, but... In the JD timeline, George Pamela took power, and I'm assuming... Garvey went back to America. I didn't plan to do a Marcus Garvey play at some point. I would like to do him. Well, he's to make a Pan-African Liberia. And he's a Kaiserish, if I remember the... Uh, from what that ideology is. That's Malcolm X. Who's, I think... If I'm correct, that's reactionary traditionalism. Malcolm X is interesting in JD. Malcolm X is very radicalized on this in this timeline. Uh, I can't remember. Exactly. It's been like forever, but I remember him. I remember something about him being very radical in his beliefs, like fucking how the nation of Islam and Kaiser Redux work, but kind of like that, but not really. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember if it was. I'm trying to remember if it isn't, but it's been, it's been like a while since I've seen anything about Malcolm X, so. Go party for that one. And that's what we got. We got my boy Bob. I like Bob. I like the name Bob. Bob's very nice. Very nice name. Bob Kaufman, to be specific. He is a surrealist. Being the only cell leader in the Black Bear Republic. Plenty of it. Plenty of. Plenty of SL or futurist leaders. But uh, he's the only one over here in. In uh, the Black Bear Republic. It's kind of like um how fucking. I feel like how Zotorosia and Red Flood, fucking Comey and TNO, like, there's a leader for every ideology over here. And like, 
I really like that over here. It's like one nation has many sort of paths over here, and it gives us also the interesting replay value. Red Eight's pretty cool over here. Red very nice. So I'm very curious to see how each of them are going to be playing over here. So if I do do the Black River Republic, I don't think they're going to come in the demo. I don't think so. They might be skeleton, but I don't think they're going to come to the demo. If they do, uh, I'm thinking of either doing Malcolm, Kaufman, or you. I can't remember the name. I think his name is Thomas. I think it was Thomas. Fuck it. God ah, damn it. Yeah. If someone corrects me in the comments below, I'll pin it. I do apologize for that one because I, I recognize these faces, but I can't remember the fucking names. Same suit. That's who. I am doing, I am doing, doing play playthroughs over here. Who play playthroughs in a lot of lost areas, actually? Was like Republic. Plenty of Black Belt Republics over here. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's basically the teaser videos over here. Not extensive, not too much in depth, but I figured I might as well at least show off the two over here. Especially considering one though, the teaser came out like right when I went on break. And I thought I might as well fucking do that. Record something over here for you guys. It's like a little apology for not getting, getting out, for not uploading in like a week over here. Because I just want to take a break in general. But thank you for all that. And well, then we got a two for one special over here. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what else America has to offer. Very interested to see how the Black Power Republic, how, how the fucking South is gonna work exactly. A lot of, like the weird shit going on over there. All the weird shit going on in America, and JD. I'm very interested over here. Very interested to see what else can become popping up. So with that, I will see you guys later in whatever I'm doing next. Uh, yeah, because I know what the hell is. I don't know when the hell these are going to come out. They usually come out on Friday, but I don't know what the hell is going to come like before or after this. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys then.